What's going on guys? My name is Rashad Woods and I was watching a video over the subconscious mind the other day, Creflo Dollar on YouTube and some things that he says really um, stood out to me about the seven steps to change, changing our life and I know that it's an everyday process but listen, if we keep the, the good Lord with us and pray to the good Lord that everything will work according to his will so I'm gonna start with the first step to change okay now to change the first step we need to decide that we that we want to change and we need to make a decision to change like we need to, I know some of us we tired of the way some things are going and it's in the mind so we need to change the way our mindset the second step is desire we have to we have to want to change we need to pray to God that we um that we that we want to change and keep it deep down inside and it says not enough everyone wants not enough everyone wants to change so we need to change the third is deepen so we need to deepen our knowledge of the word of God deepen our awareness we need to be be educated on the word of God and for example some people we um are educated, yeah, highly in worldly things with school and getting our degrees. But as soon as we something going wrong, we can't find a job, or we get just got laid off, or something in our life ain't going right, we forget that um we about the word of God, and that's the most important thing for even being here. So we need to um deepen our edu our knowledge of the word of God and continue to to be His children. The fourth is diligence. Diligence, change requires it, so we have to have diligence. So we need to stay at it, and over and over we need to just stay at it. Don't slack, because slack is equal lack. So none of us, we don't need to slack. The fifth um, step to changing, we need to defend. We need to defend our mind from the old, the old thoughts and old ways. Because you know, them old ways and the devil is always knocking at the door. So we need to build a defense. So that the old way of thinking cannot come into our new living. Our new, new living. No, the sixth way is disassociate. This really stuck out to me. Disassociate. We need to disassociate from some people and some circumstances. And it's hard to renew our mind if we're hanging around people who who aren't trying to re to change the way they think. For example, friends not trying to renew their mind need to break up the relationship. The relationship isn't benefiting me and still keeping a bad relationship because you don't want to be alone and by yourself. Okay, if you feel like you're going to be alone because a certain situation is not godly and it's not helping your mindset with the change you're trying to do and live for the Lord. Uh, Creflo Dollar, he said, well, just buy a dog or something then. To me, I think we should, we should all get more involved into the church and do something more positive and that's having our mind do positive things. The um, seventh way is depend. Depend on the word of God. Depend on his, for his, for his help. His, ask him to be in your presence for, and tell him you depend on him. Pray to him. You depend on God. That's pretty much it with, with the seven steps. Decide, desire, deepen, diligence, defend, disassociate, and depend and there was some some other notes on renewing your mind to renew our mind we need to read our bible meditate on the word listen to tapes for example when you're just sitting in the bed you can't sleep at night turn that tv off and go go on, listen to your word listen to some music some spiritual music go on youtube and type in random thoughts you've been having about the day just about life if you're confused about a pastor type it on youtube it's many of pastors out there that it's putting stuff on YouTube daily. So make use of that internet. And we need to work on our own salvation. So you are where you are because of the way you think. Renew it and you renew your mind or you'll be stuck. So I ask Lord to renew everybody's mind and the way they think and so it can be changed in their life. So keep walking by faith and not by sight. Thank you. It's a process of being a Christian every day. Ace.